हेलो एंड वेलकम माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई एम रोहन सर फ्रॉम मैदी इंग्लिश मीडियम स्कूल आई वेलकम माई ऑल डियर थर्ड स्टैंडर्ड स्टूडेंट्स इन टूडे साइंस लेक्चर डियर स्टूडेंट्स हैव यू वॉच द प्रीवियस लेक्चर्स इफ यू हैव वॉच यू माइट बी नोइंग दैट इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी सॉल्व फ्यू ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ द वर्कशीट एंड वी हैव इवन सॉल्व द ऑब्जेक्टिव फ्रॉम द टेक्स बुक फॉर चैप्टर नंबर टेन सो ऑब्जेक्टिव from the textbook as well as from the worksheet is done now we are supposed to do actually the question answers of chapter number 10 but we will do it later on in the next lecture so now what are we going to do must be the question running in your mind so we will start with the reading and the hard words of new chapter chapter number 11 light sound and force so the question answers of chapter number 10 i have to yet to give you in the next lecture not only from the textbook but also for the worksheet you will have to watch the next lecture for the question answers of chapter number 10 for now we are going to start with the new chapter number 11 light sound and force as we always do our format will be same today also format for today's lecture will also be same reading and the hard words part will be there you will have to write the hard words in your rough book now as you know that in the previous few lectures i have given you the objective of chapter number 10 but i have not given you the hard words on the board as hard words we always do with the reading part only so students now be ready for writing the hard words in the rough book for that you will have to be ready with the rough book and the textbook so please take out your textbook open page number 106 chapter 11 light sound and force and please watch the lecture properly so that you don't miss out any hard word and once you have read the lesson you will later be able to understand the chapter properly so i hope that you are getting ready yourself with your books my dear students i hope that you are ready please also keep the pencil with you obviously to write the hard words so those who are not having the textbook please don't worry as i am going to display the textbook on the screen as i always do just to facilitate the students who are not having the textbook so let's get started with today's lecture of new chapter chapter number 11 light sound and force first of all you should know that what are you going to learn from the chapter before starting anything you should know the benefits of that so you will learn here understanding light understanding the sound and the force these are the three things which are the part and the parcel of the human life so it is very important to understand these three things in your life which you are going to do now in this chapter so let us start with the warm up exercise and the information given before the chapter as we always do we know that the sun gives us light as night falls we use different objects to give us light look at the objects given in the picture below answer the questions that follow okay can you see the objects my dear students so a whole lot of objects are given here which provides which are the source of the light for us sun lamp bulb candle lantern stars and the table lamp so these are all the sources for the human being of light and i know that you have seen all of these at least 99% of the student might be having 
all of these available at their home obviously not the stars in the sun so let us see what questions are there regarding the objects number 1 which of the above objects give off light on their own so which are the natural source of light in short that is what the question means sun yes obviously sun gives us the light on its own so let us first write here sun okay so lamp gives the light on its own obviously not then bulb gives the light on its own no what about the candle obviously not lantern no does the star gives the light on its own yes stars do we human beings go there to light up the stars no so stars okay what about the table lamp obviously table lamp also human beings need to make and switch on so these are the two objects which gives off the light on their own now let us see the next question do all the above objects give off the light yes these all the objects does the work of giving off the light to the human beings so yes will be the answer okay now let us see what is written here can you see anything when you enter to the dark room students when you enter just in your bedroom at night can you see anything no you cannot see but the moment you switch on the bulb or the tube light you can see everything correct so you need to switch on something either bulb or tube light or candle or anything if you want to see everything can you read the book when the lights off lights are off you cannot read the book when the lights are off right you need to turn on the light so what this object shows us that human beings need the light from the different source is they get the light correct let us start the reading and the hard word parts now so i hope that you will also write the hard word along with tick marking the hard word in the book if you want to mark the hard word the choice is yours but writing the hard words now in your book is mandatory understanding light light helps us to see The sun is the main source of the heat and the light on the earth. The sun, candle, dia, torch, tube light and lamp are examples of objects that give off light. Fireflies that we see in the dark night also emit light their own. Okay students, now the first hard word here is fireflies. please write it down in your rough notebook i hope that in your rough notebook at least you have given the heading hard words chapter 11 if not quickly give the heading chapter 11 hard words subject obviously you have to write date is also but obvious in all the lectures i have been informing you the date and subject and chapter number these all things are very much basic which you have to write so fire flies this is number 1 hard word okay now number 2 hard word is e m i t emit e m i t emit i hope you are writing the hard words dear students please write it properly so that later you can copy down these hard words in your fair notebook number 1 fireflies number 2 emit let us continue objects that give out the light are called luminous 
let us write another hard word number 3 luminous l u m i n o u s luminous please write it down luminous okay i hope that you have written all these three hard words in the sequence i have asked you to write it let us continue with the reading and the few more hard words do remember however that the moon only reflects the light of the sun so moon does not has the light of its own it just reflects the light of the sun we always see the lit face of the moon but the moon does not have has the light of its own this is what you will have to remember so when we ask the question that which object gives the light of its own moon is not included in that stars and the sun are only included in that paper table kite and bed are examples of objects that do not give off light objects that do not give out the light are called non luminous non luminous please write another hard word i know it is very much similar to the luminous but still i want you become want you to become perfect in the hard words please write down this one number 4th non hyphen luminous this is how it is written non luminous i hope you are writing the hard word no need to do full stop as this is the end of the sentence in the textbook full stop shows that this is the end of the sentence but there you are just writing the word don't put the full stop with that okay next when light falls on my on any any object we can see it we see non luminous objects only when light falls on them okay shadow have you ever noticed a dark patch on the ground when you stand outside in the sun or under the street light the dark patch in is your shadow now here number 5th hard word is p a t c h patch p a t c h patch please write it down properly p a t c h patch okay i suppose you should have written the hard word till now number 6 shadow s h a d o w shadow s h a d o w shadow okay shadows are formed when an object blocks the path of the light from the luminous objects like the sun bulb or candle sometimes shadows are smaller and sometimes they are bigger than the actual size a shadow is always formed on the opposite side of the light as we are just reading and marking the hard words i am not going to explain it to you now in the next lecture explanation will be done you can see the picture is given long shadow in the morning short shadow at noon okay now here they have given the points but which we will solve during the explanation part now the topic is understanding the sound first the topic was understanding light so i hope that you are ready to read and underline the hard work for this topic as well let's get started with understanding sound topic when we talk we are making a sound our tongue helps us to make sound we hear sounds of all kinds with the help of our ears students here two more hard words are there one is tongue another is ears i know ears is very easy word it is not a hard word but actually it is a kind of puzzling word why because sometimes many students i have seen 
writing y e a r s instead of writing e a r s so years and years are different tongue t o n g u e please write these two hard words tongue and the next one years okay so these were the two more hard words now let us continue reading if you strike a steel tumbler with a spoon it makes a sound we have various kinds of sounds such as the ring of the bell or telephone the cry of a baby and the bark of a dog some sounds are soft example whisper some sounds are loud example ring of the school bell some sounds are pleasant example music some sounds are unpleasant example the continuous honking of a vehicle now here the hard words are whisper w h i s p e r whisper i hope that as soon as i am highlighting the hard word you are writing it down noting it down in your rough book see that these hard words will not be given a second time even inform your friends to watch this lecture if you have watched so that they can complete their work because the first thing what you are going to write in every chapter is hard word and then the other things i hope that you have written whisper next is unpleasant unpleasant please write it down u n p l e a s a n t unpleasant unpleasant next one is vehicle v e h i c l e vehicle unpleasant vehicle so on the first page and the second page how many hard words are there just let us count it so that you will be able to verify 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 then activity and let's remember we have skipped 7 8 9 10 11 11 so 11 hard words are there why have i turned the page on the screen and i have shown you because that you can verify later if you want now let us read further we like to hear soft and pleasant sounds we do not like to hear loud and unpleasant sounds now noise what happens when everybody in your class starts talking loudly at the same time what happens when all the vehicles on the road start honking in the traffic jam okay so here the hard words are honking and traffic jam honking and traffic jam i hope students you are writing it h o n k i n g honking next is t r a double f i c traffic j a m jam write it as quickly as possible and please make sure you leave one one line after writing each hard word so here are the two hard words that is why i am waiting for the couple of seconds so that you can write the hard words okay next sounds that is loud and unpleasant is called noise too much noise disturbs us and is bad for our health this is why we should learn to speak softly we should always play the television and the music system at a low volume so that we do not 
disturb other members of our family or our neighbors here the next hard word is softly s o f t l y softly then the next is neighbors n e i g h b o u r s neighbors students let me draw your attention towards a fact file which we always do while we are marking the hard word here one very 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 interesting fact file is given sound travels through the air if you shout on the moon nobody can hear you why because this happens because there is no air on the moon so if there is no air sound will not be able to travel no one will be able to listen to you out of that particular area where the air is not there so this is really very much helpful to you if you keep this kind of knowledge you can really have the good heap of knowledge with you okay now the next topic is understanding force i hope till now whatever hard words were marked you have written that in your books understanding force in everyday life we push or pull things to move them a push or a pull is called force force helps us to do many things now force can move an object force can stop a moving object force can change the shape of an object let us turn the page friction friction is a special force that slows down movements here the hard word is movements please write it down m o v e m e n t s movements m o v e m e n t s movements okay next is so when you push or pull an object to move it the force of the push or the pull should be greater than the force of friction here my dear students i wanted to give you one hard word friction f r i c t i o n friction f r i c t i o n friction now when friction is very less things slide when it is more things don't move so if there was no friction we would not be able to walk we would keep slipping off one more very interesting file is given here a wet floor is slippery why because there is very little friction that is why it is very slippery it is hard to hold our legs where the friction is less few keywords are there which you have to repeat with me so students please repeat these keywords with me it will be very much helpful when i will explain you the chapter i hope you all are ready to repeat after me luminous object an object that gives out light is called a luminous object i hope students you are repeating with me next non luminous object an object that does not give out light is called a non luminous object number 3 force a push or pull is called force are you reading with me students please read it loudly and clearly shadow the dark patch formed when an object blocks the path of light is called a shadow noise loud and unpleasant sound is called noise and the last one friction 
द फोर्स दैट स्लोज डाउन मूवमेंट इज कॉल्ड फ्रिक्शन सो हियर माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स देर आर सिक्स की वर्ड्स गिवन वॉट इज योर वर्क वॉट इज योर होमवर्क इज यू हैव टू राइट ऑल दीज सिक्स की वर्ड्स टू टाइम्स इन द रफ बुक लेट मी राइट इट डाउन हियर एच डब्ल्यू विच मीन्स होमवर्क राइट की वर्ड्स two times so this is your homework write all the keywords two times as there are only six keywords you will have to write overall 12 times of work which will be done i think within half an hour if you write with a good handwriting so my dear students today we have solved warm up exercise we saw on the first page different sources of the light where we get the light from out of which sun and the stars were the natural source of the light which human beings don't have to make but rest of the things are the man made things we cannot say it is natural or it gives the light on its own correct it needs the help of someone as like it was written on the second page that moon reflects the light of sun moon does not has the light of its own so it does not come in the object which gives the light on its own okay so my dear students i hope that you have written all the hard words from all the pages and you will write it down in the fair book you have to just leave the space two pages for the question answers of the previous chapter which will be given soon so please make sure stay updated in the group If you need any PDF or anything, you can directly contact to me in the WhatsApp. With this, I end my today's lecture. I hope that you have read and underlined and written the hard words. Have a nice day. Goodbye.